to jump in this great race and the starter urging them to hold back, stay where they are. At this uh, new start for the Hennessy, just uh, a little bit round the bend and the flag goes up, the tapes go up and they're on their way for the 34th running of the Hennessy Cognac Gold Cup and straight away it's the Grand National and Whitbread winner, Mr. Frisk, who storms into the lead and jumps the first clear but already moving up to join him as predicted arctic call mr frisk and arctic call in third place is master bob fourth is ace of spies then seagram and von chardek uh, behind those von chardek lying up much closer than many thought he would then Ker villahow and sam da vinci behind those is man of magic on the outside is handy trick on the back marker at this point is wigtown bay as they jump the third and mr frisk leads over it mr frisk from arctic call on the inside master bob on the outside von chardek's behind those with ace of spies then seagram on the inside then handy trick and sam da vinci and Ker villahow as they jump the fourth fence and all over that with Wigtown Bay still the back marker and Manor Magic just in front of him. Racing down to the last on the far side and it's Mr. Frisk. Mr. Frisk from Arctic Bay on the inside. Master Bob towards the outside, Arctic Call I should say. Mr. Frisk from the blinkered Arctic Call. Von Chardick much closer than anyone would have anticipated in those orange and yellow colours. But on the outside in third is Master Bob behind those come Ace of Spies on the outside of Seagram and then Handy Trick as they race round the top end of the course with Mr. Frisk making it but by just half a length from Master Bob in second, Von Chardick is third, Arctic Call has dropped back to fourth place, Ace of Spies is on the outside of Handy Trick as they jump the sixth. Mr. Frisk and Master Bob within half a length of one another over that. Arctic Call is third. Von Chardick is fourth. Ace of Spies is fifth. Then Handy Trick and Durham Edition. Then Seagram. Seagram has lost a little bit of ground. Then New Halen is making ground from the back of the field. And the back marker at this point is Man of Magic as they sweep round into the straight. This will be the seventh, and Mr. Frisk leads into it. From Master Bob on this side, the other blinkered runner, Arctic Call is third on the inside, then Von Chardick, Durham Edition lying up in a good position, then Ace of Spies, then Handy Trick behind that, and New Halen and Seagram as they race down towards the second open ditch with Mr. Frisk, the leader over it. Master Bob's over in second and third, and the faller at the back of the field is Wigtown Bay. Wigtown Bay, the only faller, on um, the 13 in the Hennessy so far as they jump the ninth fence with Mr. Frisk over it by half a length from Master Bob on the outside. Arctic Call is third in the inner. Durham Edition is lying up well in fourth, then Von Chardick, then Handy Trick on the inside, and Ace of Spies in the check colours, then New Halen and Seagram and Sam Da Vinci as they jump the tenth. And over that, Master Bob and Mr. Frisk racing together. Arctic Call is third, then Ace of Spice and Von Chardick and Durham Edition, then New Halen and Handy Trick and Sam Da Vinci and Master Man of Magic. Then the last two are Kerr Villahow and Seagram, who's dropped back to last as the leaders jump the water. With Arctic Call and Master Bob disputing the lead from Mr. Frisk, who dropped back to third there. Durham Edition is fourth, then Ace of Spice and Handy Trick and Von Chardick on the Outside of Von Chardick is Sam Da Vinci, then New Halen and Man of Magic, then Kerr Villahow, and the back marker now is Seagram and Peter. How do you feel it's going? They haven't gone quite as quick as I thought they might have, which obviously Marcus is trying to slow the, the race down a little bit because of the weight he's got. He'll start to try and get his jumping to tail down the back here now if he can on Mr. Frisk, so he's using his energy up jumping, not galloping, so he's saving a little bit if he can. Uh, they're just, as you see, they're all beginning to uh, to get spread out a little bit. New Halen, I thought, would have stayed up nearer the pace, but uh, he's uh, given him a chance to get the trip. Durham Edition looks to be going very well and must be very happy with the position he's in. And I think from there, he just looked to make a little bit of a mistake, actually. I would be quite happy sat on Durham Edition. Arctic Call, who has the call from Mr. Frisk in second. Then Master Bob is still right up there with Durham Edition. Then New Halen, who's making good ground. And Arctic Call made a bad mistake in the lead, but uh, he's recovered from it. And Arctic Call still leads at the sixth last from Mr. Frisk and Durham Edition. New Halen in the inside of Handy Trick. Master Bob's lost a little bit of ground. And Seagram, the back marker, as they race up towards the 
top turn. Von Chardix, the other one who's lost a fair bit of ground. And it's Arctic Call, pressed by Mr. Frisk. Durham Edition going smoothly in third. Master Bob still there on the outside. Man of Magic's made a bit of ground from the back. Then New Halen and then Ace of Spies who's still there and Handy Trick. But uh, Von Chardix has lost his place as they sweep round the top turn and face up to the fifth last, the cross fence. Arctic Call by a length from Master Bob who goes back into second. Mr. Frisk is third. Man of Magic going smoothly into fourth place in front of Durham Edition as they jump that. Then Ace of Spies in sixth. Then New Halen and Handy Trick and Sam Da Vinci who's under pressure. And Von Chardick has dropped back to last of those still on their feet. As Arctic Call leads the field into the straight of the Hennessy Cognac Go Cup for the last time. Arctic Call with a lead of two or three lengths from Master Bob in second. Man of Magic getting closer all the time. New Halen's battling his way back into contention as they jump the first in the straight. And a mistake there by Arctic Call, but he's got away with it. In second now is Man of Magic. Running on in third is Master Bob. New Halen's running on from the back, and Ace of Spies is still there as they jump the last ditch. The third last, and Arctic Call's over it clear. Man of Magic's looking tired now. Master Bob's running on in second place. New Halen runs on into third. Ace of Spies is still there as they jump the third last in the Hennessy. And over that, it was Arctic Call. Arctic Call still with a call from Master Bob running on. New Halen moves into third. Then Man of Magic and Sam Da Vinci as they run down to the last in the Hennessy. And over it, Arctic Call pressed by Master Bob. Master Bob coming with a terrific run on the stand side, but it's Arctic Call holding on. Arctic Call with 100 yards to go in the Hennessy. Arctic Call goes away to win the Hennessy Cognac Go Cup. Arctic Call is the winner. Master Bob is second. Kev Bellaha ran on to be third. Then Sam Da Vinci and New Halen and Man of Magic and Ace of Spies and Von Chardek who ran on a disappointing Von Chardek with the field going back to a tired Durham edition who was last. So the result of the 34th running of the Hennessy Cognac Go Cup, a win for number six, Arctic Call, owned by Mr. B.T. Stuart Brown, trained by Oliver Sherwood and ridden by Jamie Osborne, the greatest win of his career. Second, number 12, Master Bob, owned by Mr. Ian Wills, trained by Nick Henderson and ridden by Hill Davis. Third, number three, Kerr Villaho, owned by Mrs. Miles Valentine, trained by Miles Morris and ridden by Charlie Swan. The fourth horse was number seven, Sam Da Vinci. Please excuse my voice, which has gone with the action. But what a great moment this for Jamie Osborne, the greatest triumph of his career after five months out of the saddle from injury and now winning one of our great races on a horse who made almost all of the running after the first mile and a half of the race. Six, Arctic Call, five to one. Second number 12, Master Bob, 33 to one. And third number three, Kaha Villahoff, 20 to one.